Hey everybody, let me give you a demo of how the service module works in Lightspeed POS. So head over to your service module and the first thing that we're going to do, customer has brought in a product to us so we're going to create a new work order. So Lightspeed's going to ask us for the customer's name and as we type in here it'll give us possible matches on the side here and we can just go ahead and select Jimmy Jones. So first thing that we're going to want to do is describe the product. So let's call it an iPhone uh, 8 and it's a, a black one and let's call it a 64 gigabyte and of course the serial number and then you can even go as far as to add images uh, which is really 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 cool you can describe through pictures what is broken for your uh, service guy to look at uh, you can take pictures of the condition of the product when it arrives so the customer can't say, you know, you put a scratch on it. Uh, you also want to note if it is a warranty product that's going back for warranty service or it's being performed warranty service anyways. You're going to want to select this. And of course, if the customer would like to uh, retain all the uh, bad parts, you can go ahead and select this and that will give your service guy an indication that he's to keep all the, the parts for the customer. You can record the date and the time that it was brought in and of course the date and the time that it is promised to the customer uh, and you can choose which shop the service is being performed in. So then there's a note section here where you could leave a note like um, screen damaged would like to try and salvage if not repairable please replace. And then we can go ahead and uh, print a tag and what this will do is bring, uh, print out a work order tag with a barcode that you can scan when the customer comes back in. So you can also send this as an email. It'll go ahead and uh, load up with the customer details uh, and allow you to put a little uh, message in here. Uh, thanks for stopping in uh, our service check will get in touch with an estimate ASAP and uh, hit send email work order and that's going to fire off this work order with that message uh, to the customer just so that he's got an electronic copy of it too. That's really powerful. Customers love that nowadays. So at this stage the rep who's taken in the product can walk away and uh, drop the product and maybe print out a tag and put it with the product in the service department. So the next day your service guy is going to come in and he's going to go ahead and click work orders and that's going to give him a list of everything that's come in and everything that he knows the status is open so he needs to look at. And he clicks open and this is going to show him the uh, open work order and all of the details. He's going to go ahead and take the actual physical product and look at things and he's going to determine uh, cost. So he's going to go ahead and say uh, I'm going to add labor and I think I have my labor set up to be $100 or so. Uh, let's just say it takes half an hour and that's all I want to uh, charge the customer for. So I go ahead and put in 30 minutes and click save and the shop knows, oh I think I had it at 125, that's right. Uh, so the shop knows to put it at 62.50. Then I've also got a hotkey prepared here for parts. Uh, you can go ahead and type in a uh, description of the part. Uh, you can even put something like this, parts, replacement, screen and go ahead and say that that is $12 and this will add this to the you know running uh, work order going on here. So your service guy has everything uh, dialed in here he knows it's going to be about 75 bucks and uh, what he can go ahead and do is uh, click send as email and now he can type in a message uh, hey Jimmy took a look at your phone see attached quote and let me know if you want me to go ahead with this repair. And then of course you can see here that it's added in all the pricing so the customer has a good idea of everything that's going on. And then he can go ahead and send that work order. And then what he's going to want to do in this status is uh, set it to estimate. And you can see here that it's uh, completely changed color. And if we go back to the work order screen, it's changed color out here. I also have a video on how to set up different color coded statuses within the work order system, which is really cool. Go ahead and check that out. 
And so now when the when your service guy is looking at this screen, he's going to know, hey, it's in estimate mode. I've already contacted the customer. I don't have anything to do with it. Now, if he gets an email back from the customer saying, yeah, man, go ahead, go ahead and fix it. He can go in and click here. This brings him back to the screen with all the details. And he can update the note here saying, customer approved work, part on order, should be ready in two days. And then he can go ahead and go down here and update the date that we're promising uh, to the customer. And what he can do is go ahead and select waiting. So this is like, you know, the parts on order, we're waiting, we can't really do anything about it. And you'll see that it's changed color again here. And if we go into work orders, the whole thing has changed color again. Anyways, the part comes in and it's given to your service guy. And so he comes back over to your service module and searches for the work order. And he brings it up here. And he goes ahead and does the work and finishes everything. And uh, he'll go ahead and update the note saying, completed, customer contacted to come pick up his item. And he can go, in, uh, go ahead and uh, select finish uh, under the status of the labor. Now he can come up here and go send his email. Say, hey Jimbo, your phone is ready to rock. Come on by and pick it up. And you can see that it's got all the updated information here with the updated notes. And you can go ahead and click send email work order. And that'll send it to the customer and tell them to come pick it up. And you can go ahead and select finished now. And you'll see now it's changed to a grayed out uh, color here. And you'll notice too if you go back to work orders it's all grayed out here as well. So now the customer's come back in and he wants to pick up his order and he doesn't have a sheet with you so you can't scan the barcode but what's really cool is you can just go right into finished orders and this will give you a list of everything that's ready to go and you can go ahead and uh, select the edit button to go back into the screen here to see all the details and then from here we can click checkout. This is going to pop us over into the sales module and bring up the work orders tab and it's going to have all the information here everything's good everything's good to go and we have to make sure that we select that the work order has been completed now this puts it into a full receipt mode and we can take payment from the customer in the form of debit card and we'll finish the sale print the receipt for the customer or email it and bada boom bada bing we have completed a work order now let's go back into our service mod and you'll see that work order no longer exists in here for your service employees to see so anyways that's the service module in lightspeed pos i really hope this video helped you out give me a thumbs up if it did and thanks for checking this out